Today's Clash Royale video is an awesome one. I actually did a challenge against Carl the Legend where we actually started with our second account at 6,000 trophies. And we tried to push as fast as we can from 6,000 trophies to 8,000 trophies. I wasn't able to do it. I was like stuck for 10 hours there. But Carl was actually able to do it in 8 hours pushing from 6,000 trophies to Ultimate Champions League. And today we're gonna look at his final games against the best players in the world and look at the current best stack for trophy pushing life. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe, make sure to give a fat thumbs up on the video if you guys kinda like this, taking a look at other gameplay also um, content and also make sure to check out Call Legend in the video description. He's also a YouTuber. Really great guy and I would say let's directly jump into that. Let's directly jump into his gameplay. So we're directly reacting to his stream content. I actually feel like this is really really helpful since we all see like a starting and kind of also his decision making what he wants to do in certain situations so we gotta take a look at the final games um in the stream and as you guys can see here as uh here is the um kind of countdown so we're already like seven hours 27 minutes in him pushing from 6k to 8k so absolutely crazy so if you guys are looking for a great deck to try push this is the deck you want to play also really great about the stack at least in my mind is it's not really pay to win heavy for sure you have the mighty mana in but you can also sub it out mighty mana for guards or even barbarians which are like even more free to play friendly so Let's dive and jump into the gameplay. So, Morta is honestly a really hard matchup. Also, depends like which type of Morta variation do they have. Like, three air counters, just two, or like even more. Um, so, he really likes to go in for Balloon here. He likes to go for Skate Ranks. Don't want to give the opponent Fireball Volume. Let's see what he does next. As you guys can see here, the Tombstone placement. It might be a bit weird, but it's actually really, really good. Every time you have a Tombstone down on the left side, you want to go Lava on the right. Why? Since your opponent needs to push into the Tombstone, you get way more value out of that and your opponent is not able to punish you. So this is why you really like to have the Tombstone attack, since the Tombstone is so, so good on defense and you are able to build up a huge Lava and push what you want to do. So now you're going to see him doing a really great Lava Loon push. And it's for him to find out what the opponent has. He's gonna go for the mini hot. So he has the fireball selected and goes in for that. But the Dark Home actually putting in so much work. So he's gonna use the zap here. Why did he use the zap? He wanted the opponent to miss his fireball. That was actually like the plan, right? If you go in for the zap, perfect zap timing, the opponent is not gonna be able like to or like the, uh, the lava out. It's not gonna pop off, and then the opponent misses the fireball. At least that was the, that was the play. Um, but it didn't really work out. Didn't really work out. So but it was still a ton of damage, right? The opponent had to use a defensive minus. So all right, we're going in now for the lava tier at the bridge. Just tank for the mega to get a ton of value. Mega this matchup is key. Since the opponent is not able to have like or not able to kill that, since fireball doesn't really kill. Really good zap here on top of the dark room just to make sure to kill. He doesn't want to spend the fireball there since he knows he needs the fireball. Yeah, so really good tombstone placement. He really likes to stack the tombstone defensively just to get a ton of burnt off the miner and also distract the mortar. He goes in for a lock here, but still fine. The skate rings completely kill the mortar. He just gets one chip hit. So this is more likely a dead or like a ma more likely matchup where it seems like Call is not able to get him with one push. He just tries to also get some chip damage. So this is also how you can play this loud innovation. Just, just like about one beat down push, even for sure, this is your main uh, goal. Right, it's the main goal is like to build up one huge push to destroy your opponent. But also, since some matchup is like this matchup, you want to get like some lava on chip damage and just get it over and over again. So you need to go to for the balloon here. Just goes and skelly these in the middle here. Just try to get the dark on done. Really good zap. Look at the skelly placement. Look at the skeletons which are surviving. He needs to use guards here, which puts Carl, Carl in a really solid elixir position. But the miner actually on defense was really shipping anyway so i'm gonna go for oh he goes in for the mega mean i'm always like saying it's me but it's actually car playing so the tombstone is down i guess the mortar is connecting for one shot but it's fine now it's his time to push so he uses the scale during high he kind of ignores the miner which is a really risky decision i got you can you hear me yeah um, but it's, it seems like it's the only real choice the one skeleton is actually really helpful in case the opponent goes in for mortar so I think right now he's using his mighty man at the bridge here. He's using, a, he has a fireball ready. Um, 
and the Mighty Mine is going down here. The Balloon is actually looks like it's going to connect. He goes in for a Fireball on defense here. Fireball is coming down. Tombstone is coming down. The opponent is going to have a Fireball. He needs to lock this one. Zap is coming down. The ability is going down. What an amazing decision by Khan. Rather than just like going all in on the offense, he went all in on offense, or like in the kind of way all in offense. Went for a defensive Fireball the right time. Won this one. This one game away from the 8,000 trophies. So guys, okay, here's Carl actually like one game away, but at least, or like uh, as I know already, this game wouldn't be enough. So he's playing against Ruben, one of the Clash Royale goats, and Ruben is just gonna play this. And this is a great tip which you can, I, which I can give you guys if you're facing any minor deck. Lava on first play against like when your opponent's dropping a minor is a fine play. So both are going for the Lava Hounds. And I guess what I would do now is just playing my Balloon behind it. And I guess Carl's also doing that since he doesn't have a Mega Man or so on. So he's going for the Balloon here. Let's see what Ruben, how Ruben responds to that. And for sure Ruben is a really, really good player. So Inferno Dragon is coming down. He's going for a really good Zap time in the perfect Zap time actually. Before an Inferno Dragon really pops off. Uh, uh, Flying Wish is coming down. He wants to go for the Scaly Ds, which are important. Instead of the Fireball, the Scaly Ds from Ruben are coming down now. He still has the Fireball ready. And as you guys can see, this is just so, so good. I guess he's just going to Fireball the Scaly Dings here. Since he knows the tower will be able to finish off the mine. And then the Fire Dang won't really get damaged. And this is already it. This is already it. I just want to kind of show you like the start of the game. Since it's a really, really interesting one. How you need to play against a Lava and Mirror matchup. You want to be the first guy who kind of plays your Lava round. You kind of want to start him then. Especially after you see a Miner. You want to go lava and then you want to go to drop your balloon behind that and then it's just about like defend really well for sure the mighty mana really helps like to be that aggressive since at 1-1 you have a really great matchup this is how you kind of beat opponents in a lava and mirror matchup at this point Carl was actually one game away at 7 hours 39 minutes in but he didn't get it he lost against graveyard and you could think graveyard is a really solid um, matchup right your opponent just has it. like ice Swiss plus the baby drink but when I was like always talking to Carl, he says that this matchup is one of the worst matchups for Lava One since the ice wizard they can really really cycle really cheap. You need to be always careful about your defense. And the good thing for the opponent is what um the, what, uh, the problem is the baby drink, right? You cannot really kill it if your opponent's playing in real low baby drink, gets like the poison on the backup tubes and really gets a great tornado. You're struggling, also tombstone. Uh, pull to king if your opponent is playing a really great great defense if you don't really need to worry about this matchup But as you guys can see seven hours 40 minutes in the opponent was really high So Khan still need, still needs one game or it's like one game away from the 8,000 trophies And it's kind of like insane since for sure in eight hours you can push a lot of trophies But it's also about the mindset and I wasn't able to do it um, For sure I would say Laban is also easier deck to do it since like it's you get a really ton of early free wins, I guess, in like the 6,000 trophy range. But now let's take a look at that. So, opponent's gonna drop a miner, he's gonna go for the Mega Minion and Guico. You know him, he's one of the best players in the world. He's really, really good for Psycho Deck. So, using a Mighty Mine on defense here, or like in the same lane as the Valk, is for sure the right player, as it seems to be. Now, he's gonna drop a Lava in the back. Really, really smart Lava Hound just coming down there on the right side. Um, and I guess, let's see what he does next. So the opponent is going to drop the Archer King. So is he going to like drop his Lava Balloon behind it or is he going to go for a Scale Drinks first? So first of all, he selects the Zap in case the opponent goes in for the Skeletons. Really smart play. And now what he wants to do, that was actually so, so smart. He wants to use the ability in the right time to just absolutely shred the, um, shred the Queen. That was so dang well played. Take notes from there if you play psychic you could think why would you use the zap there but it was actually an absolutely insane zap timing and because of the zap timing he got like the queen dead right it's, uh, it's impossible to kill fireball zap doesn't kill a queen so well really good ice but by the way really insane ice but by Guigo. but you want to Going for the zap on top of the skeletons, then play the mighty mine ability, get it on top of the queen, and even if the scaling sort of killed it, he could have still fireballed and just get the lava chip. This is one of the main reasons, or like the main things when I'm talking to Carl. This is on the matchups which you really want to rely on lava hound chip damage. You want to get lava and chip damage in, and you get it. When the queen is not there, the lava one will chip away, and it's kind of what people are underestimating. It's not just about a lava loon push, it's also just the lava hound chip itself just gets so, so much damage in most of the situations um so the lava once again is getting decent amount of damage he's going to use the ability and i guess what call is using he's just going to chill here he's now using a balloon here since he knows the opponent doesn't really have anything he doesn't have the queen back in cycle since it just died 
and he needs to use another mortar here. The mortar comes down and Mega Man absolutely completely shredding the tower and Call knows this is over. The opponent is going to give up and this are actually the 8,000 trophies for Call the Legend. Absolutely great game, absolutely insane gameplay. I need to say he played it absolutely crazy and I would say for the end of the video, we're gonna do also one game with this deck in the top of ladder. So I guess you're in a game against Virus. So I'm actually not sure what Virus plays. I'm just gonna give him a good luck and let's see if we're able to also win with the Call Legend deck. Favorite starting place? Tombstone is always fine. Um, oh. Hello. I guess what I need to do here is going for a Mighty Miner since we have a really awkward starting hand. So, mm, not really what I want to see. I have Zap selected. Seems like he has a really, I don't know. He just lava first base mean is raging. Oh, the ability was a bit too... Oh, no, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I can go in for my Mega Man here. The only real problem we have right now is that I just hope the Tombstone is please also distracting. Okay, we have a Fireball. I don't really know what the opponent is doing here, but I need to go in for my Fireball now. Now I'm just going to go Zap here. Mega Man, it stays alive. He goes in for a Fireball, but we save our tower let's go this is what you deserve brother you're starting ending us but the mighty miner actually got us back into the game which i'm quite happy about i can't really complain about that um just really important for us um i guess the next play which we're going to do is going for my lava in the back this is what i always like to do um against lava i mean okay let's see what he does now Okay, I'm not gonna go for Mega Man. I was kind of scared he's doing like for a mine or something, but Mega Man here is insanely fine. Um, it's not as good as it like could think, since you could think, okay, it's a plus two trade. Why would he do that? But the main reason he's doing that is just baiting out Elixir, and also they're not able to kill his Inferno Dragon. So, I guess what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go Balloon here. His skate is out of cycle. Also, the great thing about the Balloon is the Balloon will tank for the Lava Pups. And the Lava Pups actually, okay, no, never mind. I thought it will tank. But look at this, the Balloon still gets one shot. I'm just gonna get my skate rings down early, as early as I can, that I can like fireball the backup. Like the Inferno Dragon also, please. Fireball is coming down. This is great. And we are looking fine i just want to make sure that i'm not losing my tower here so he sent like at one one for sure it's not really too great so just like keeping a tower is a great way um i guess i'm going for my lava round here i could imagine him going like really aggressive no opposite lane okay i guess i'm just gonna relax here i'm just gonna use my tombstone low this is what call does so we're also doing the same also really make sure to check out this youtube channel he's a great guy um okay Okay, it looks like he will get my tower eventually, so I need to go for my zap now. I guess I'm also gonna go for a fireball here since I really wanted. Oh! What an amazing fireball! Please get it, okay. Mighty Miner. Skate these like this. Mm, ability is coming down, let's go. And now I can just go for a tombstone like this. And we can go for the Mega Man and we are winning this one. Absolutely great video. I hope I was able to help you kind of with the Call Legend gameplay. Let me know on which gameplay from which player I should react next. It was a bit different video, but I felt like it's a really, really cool one since I did a challenge with Call and I was just so impressed that he was able to push two thousand trophies from like top 100k to top 100 in the world in eight hours if you guys don't want to miss this type of content make sure to subscribe and i would say i'm out thanks for watching and make sure to also check out carl goodbye